Hey everyone, back again. Today I want to talk somewhat briefly about a very subtle yet important distinction between Franz Fanon and Aimé Césaire. So despite the title of this video, they aren't in conflict with one another. They are very much allied in 99.9% .9 of what they write about. But there's one point that Fanon is very clear about in The Wretched of the Earth that separates him the most, the tiniest bit from what Césaire does in his work. And I'm just gonna elaborate on that briefly here but before jumping into it. Hi, I'm David. I explain philosophical concepts and ideas and ways to make them accessible to you. So if you're new here, you can go see my, some 300 episodes I already have up. You can subscribe and see episodes I release every week, sometimes twice a week. If you found this on YouTube, you're gonna be able to find the audio only on any podcast platform if you're into that. If you found this on a podcast platform, you're gonna be able to find the video on YouTube if you're into that. So yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at theory underscore and underscore philosophy or on Twitter at David Guigno. You can also help me out monetarily via Patreon or PayPal, but obviously no pressure. You can like, share, subscribe. That would help me out a lot as well. And yeah, let's jump into this very important distinction. Now this distinction arrives in there in Fanon's, Fanon's observation of a limitation in Césaire's idea of Nécritude. Now, this idea is not reserved for Césaire alone. There were a number of other mostly French-speaking intellectuals, black intellectuals in France, in Mountainique, including Kenyatta, uh, Senghor. There were other people as well talking about this. I'm just using Césaire just because uh, he's probably the biggest name. I would, I would assume that people would be familiar with. But there are quite a few people talking about the Negritsud movement. And this movement was by and large an effort to oppose the homogenizing tendencies of European colonialism against black people all across the world. So European colonialism in all of its racist functions sought to just caricature black people as being one homogenous mass having no discernible characteristics, not being nearly as developed or as advanced as Europeans, and therefore the Europeans could justify colonizing their land, enslaving people, and so on. Really reprehensible stuff. Now the idea of Negritude by Césaire, among others, was a way to counteract that argument by, in some sense, agreeing that there is a common thread among all black people across the world. And this common thread is a unity that comes out of a mutual experience of oppression by European colonialism. And there are some points to be said about how there is therefore a broad unity of all black people in accordance with African culture. Now, I wanna put a little asterisk on this point because Césaire, among others, are not quite so clear about that. There's a point in one interview when the interviewer asked Césaire about this unifying cultural thread that unites black people with Africa, to which he says that we can see the same thing happening in a place like the Antilles, where there was a very strong black cultural diaspora in the Antilles with black cultural production, that Césaire says is itself a site for black culture, which can have its own negritude movement. So it's important to acknowledge that for Césaire, it's not so cut and dry as to say that there's just this one cultural home for black people in Africa. So this is a very brief introduction to the term negritude. In fact, I should probably do an episode just on it, on it alone. But in any case, Fanon intervenes at this point to suggest that there is a limitation here. And that limitation is that by trying to find a common unifying thread among all black people, we risk eclipsing or erasing the specific historical experiences of black people all across the world. So in The Wretched of the Earth, he makes one point to say that a black man in Chicago has a very different experience of European oppression as does a black person in Kenya or in Uganda or in any other African nation. And the reason that Feno takes aim at this issue is because he is trying to put forward specifically in The Wretched of the Earth. 
He's trying to put forward the idea of a national consciousness largely organized by colonized people, which in his focus is going to be colonized black people, but the same can be extended to colonized Vietnamese people by the French, for example, or other colonized people all across the world. He suggests that national consciousness and a knowledge of your territory, of your specific culture, of your communities, should be the real driving force to pushing back against colonialism, not simply trying to find a lost, hidden cultural current that has been undone through colonialism. In fact, Fanon goes so far as to say that there is actually a risk presented with that because then people risk romanticizing a long lost past that can't actually be resurrected. And so people will not train their eyes to the future. They will become obsessed. They will become hypnotized by the past. So the point for Fanon is to, of course, acknowledge a mutual degree of oppression by European forces, by colonial forces, but to also acknowledge the specific situations people find themselves in and their specific communities to rally in their own specific ways against those forces of oppression. Now, what will unite all people is the fact that they are all engaged in a mutual struggle, but the actual form of that struggle, the actual substance of each of them will be different from community to community, and it will assume a national character. Now, I hope that that was really quite brief, and I hope that that was clear in trying to parse out the very subtle yet important distinction between these two approaches to colonialism and a possible post-colonialism. So if there's anything I excluded, anything I got wrong, I would really love to hear about it. And this Saturday will be the first of two episodes I'm doing on the Wretched of the Earth. So if you're interested in that, you can go and check that out when it comes out on Saturday. Yeah, on that note, take care.